I'm Spencer Mazik, and joining me now is lawyer turned financial startup co founder Eli Boverman. His company, Betterment, is an online investment platform that was named New York's best startup in 2010 by TechCrunch. Welcome, Eli. Thank you for joining us well, today. Thanks so much for having me. Pleasure to be here. And I should also mention that you are chief operating officer of the company. Is that right? That's right, yeah. And so your team has described Betterment as Apple meets Vanguard. What exactly does that mean? Yeah, we like to say that sometimes. Betterment is an online goal-based investment account. Uh, what sets us apart from a uh, traditional online broker or investment advisor is... Like Vanguard, Ameritrade, E-Trade, or some of these e other investment platforms? Yeah, exactly. Platforms. Well, we have personalization and a great user experience. So the account is extremely simple to use. It's built on an elegant, uh, an elegant user interface. We, we personalize everything so that it's really about your goals, what you're saving for in life, whether that's retirement or it's a wedding or special occasion, or maybe it's just a car or a vacation or something that's a little nearer term. We'll take that information, uh, we'll construct a portfolio that's really tailored for your needs, and uh, and we'll automate everything so that it's, it's just a few clicks and and you're all set. So tell me, how does it all work? Let's say that I have $10,000 that I want to invest through Betterment. Where do I begin? Sure. So you come to the website. You, you input your personal information. It takes just a few minutes. You tell us what your goals are. And we'll help you pick out those goals and, and figure out what's most important for you. And then we'll, we'll set an allocation for your portfolio based on what those goals are, what your timelines are, what your risk preferences are, and so on. And then we link to your checking account. We transfer funds electronically. And from there, everything is very highly automated and over time will re rebalance your account, will reinvest your dividends and, uh, and you'll, be able to, you'll be really able to stay on track of your goals and if you're off track, we'll, we'll tell you and we'll give you advice to get you back on track. So I can just sit back and watch my money grow. Man. Hopefully, that's the idea, <laughs> yeah. So is there only one investment portfolio based on the modern portfolio theory? So we have, we have actually two different baskets. We have a stock market basket and a treasury bond basket and that's the part that we allocate differently depending on, on what your goals are and, and what you're saving for, and, and we tailor that to the individual. Is the platform for long-term investors who want to invest in things like real estate and commodities? So it's really for everybody, depending on whether it's a short term or long term. We can we can really customize it to your needs. If you're if you're in it for the long term, then absolutely it's a great place to save. We have IRA accounts so you can save for your retirement, uh, and we give you a broad based in investment exposure. So you're exposed to uh, to U.S. equities, international equities, as as well as your, your Treasury bonds as well for uh, for a safer for a safer investment option. That includes real estate then. Uh, so we. We, we offer real estate options and, and other levels of customization to some of our higher balance accounts. So uh, for accounts that are over $100,000, you, uh, you can actually contact us and contact to your, to your heart's delight, whatever. We, always, we use all exchange traded funds, so if you wanted to add in a, a real estate exchange traded fund, you could do that if you wanted to. So what's the fee structure for the service that I like to describe as an online investment manager for the average person? Right. So uh, the fee is incredibly cheap. It's between 0.15 and 0.35 percent. It depends on, on the balance in your account. So for our high, highest balance accounts, it's 0.15 percent. And if you compare that to a traditional money manager, that's maybe a tenth of the cost of a traditional money manager. So that includes all trading costs with the exception of underlying fees for ETFs. Is that right? That's, that's right. Yeah. You've, you've done your homework. Uh, so uh, so uh, all transactions are free. Anytime you want to fund the account, and it's, it's a very liquid account, so you can, you can make a withdrawal, take money out of your account when you reach your goals. And anytime you want to adjust your allocation, add a new goal, all of, the, all of those transactions are free of charge. I think it's great that everybody's welcomed with no minimum investments, but who are your typical users? Sure. So, uh, you know, our, our sweet spot is anybody that's uh, very online savvy, it tends to be people between maybe 25 to 45 years old, people who are, uh, who, people who are saving, who, are, who have some money accumulating, and, and they're not quite sure what the best option is for them, but they know that they, they like to move their life online as much as possible uh, and have the, have the ease and the flexibility of an, of an online option for their investments. So Eli, tell me this. How did you and John Stein, who is the CEO of the company, how did you come up with the idea for this financial startup? Sure. John, John my, my partner and, and our CEO, uh, he and I have known each other for a long time. And 
uh, he he really had this this vision for a better way to to save and invest online. And I I was a, a practicing attorney as, as we know. Securities lawyer at yeah, Foscar. Yeah, so uh, and and had an itch to do something entrepreneurial and was really saving my own money for for the day that would come where I'd I'd leave the mothership and uh, <laughs> and and the the income would be coming in a little little more slowly. So uh, in looking around for the best opportunity, I started talking to John and uh, he had this idea for 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 betterment and it, it felt like something that I needed for my own for my, my own savings and and I said well you know I'd love to work on this with you and and he really uh, he welcomed the opportunity and, and so and he had we the idea when you were still practicing at the firm at yeah. Proskauer and so did you find it though difficult to leave the firm even though you said that you'd save up some money but it's still a risky venture here so did you was that a difficult decision to make uh, it wasn't really I, I, I was ready to go um, <laughs> wait how I, many years did you practice I, then? I was there for two years so okay. not, not 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 a lifetime but enough time to sort of accumulate the right amount of experience and and I had always envisioned doing something entrepreneurial before I entered law school as I was in law school I, I, I wanted to use my, my legal training to do something entrepreneurial uh, and when John and I started talking about betterment it felt like absolutely the right fit it was an, it was an easy call for me did you have to worry about repaying student loans when you left the firm I, I was fortunate. Student debt wasn't an issue for me. Uh, so what was really an issue was planning out for the the days when I left the firm and making sure that I had a, a little bit of a nest egg to to fund uh, whatever endeavor I wanted to go in and to keep paying my bills and keeping up my living expenses. Does Betterment have an in-house counsel? Is that Boris's role? Uh, so I, I've served as our as our general counsel since the beginning of the company, and recently we added Boris Kentoff, who uh, who works with me on all of our legal matters as well and uh, he's the second uh, attorney in the in the door uh, and we have we have a lot of legal work to do, more than probably your typical startup does. Uh, you know, of course, there were the all the early stage uh, legal challenges that any any new venture is going to face, whether it's formation or mm -hmm. funding. Uh, but we also have a lot of work uh, in the security space. Obviously, we're a heavily regulated company. We, uh, SEC, risk, FINRA, probably. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, uh, both of those, and we spend a lot of our time interacting with with both of those regulators, and uh, and uh, there's there's many different requirements that we have to contend with. So that's a big piece of how we spend our time as as attorneys at a, at a young and, and growing startup. And so you did all of that without any support from an outside counsel? So we have had outside counsel since the beginning. And the way that that's generally worked is uh, I, I took my experience uh, from my time at, at Proskauer, where I, where I practiced for a couple of years. And uh, I started building on that and really specializing in the investment management spaces that, that Betterment plays in most. And then we, we, we've we added in outside counsel that have expertise in broker-dealer regulation, investment advisor regulation. And I call on them when issues are complex or novel and, and make sure that we get second opinions and, and and outside review. Well, so what do you want people to know about Betterment? I, I think what's most important to know is that we're really a better solution for your money than, than the anything better else. better investment, hence the name. <laughs> than, than for anything else that you can find out there. We're incredibly affordable and that's great, but what's most important is that we're accessible. And that means not just that uh, there's there's low minimums, but but more importantly that we're easy to use, that we match your we, we match well to what your what your life's goals are. That's what it's all about is what what are you saving for? What are what are you what are your ambitions? Is it to retire at a certain age with a certain standard of living? Is it to save up for for your wedding? or your kids' education, and we're the best place to do that. Well, so what's your dream or exit strategy for the company? Where do you see it in five or 10 years from now? I, I would love for for John and and myself and, and Anthony Shrouth, who's our, our chief product officer, who's been with us since the very early days, for us to still be running the company uh, and and seeing it grow. And maybe one day it'll be big enough that we'll, we'll look at taking it public. Or um, I don't know what all the options are. All I know is that I want to really continue to grow the business and and see it, see it expand our, our customer base and and make a lot more people uh, happy with with their investments. Well, we wish you the best of luck with your endeavors there, Eli. Well, Thank thanks. you for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. For more information on this or other topics, subscribe to BloombergLaw.com. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for joining us. Bye, everybody.